<laughs> All right, I think that's good. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Monument Auto. Um, I've got some fun updates for you this time. I've done some more upgrades to the ML63. Um, I'm not going to give them all away quite yet, but the first thing you'll notice, probably from the video in the intro, is that I've put different wheels on the car. So I got 21 inch um, GL, like 500, GL 550, whatever it is, um, AMG package wheels, and they're very similar to the original 2007 or W164 ML63 AMG wheels. They're just a little bit bigger. The offset is 37 millimeters instead of like 46. Um, but they're still uh, 10 inches wide, like my original 20 inch wheels were, and that made fitment really easy to figure out. I, I did look at some aftermarket wheels, but it was really hard to find a 21 that was like 10 or 11 inches with the right offset, with the right bolt pattern, that it was just, it got to be a little too much for me to try to figure out fitment, especially doing it all online right now because of COVID. Um, and so I just decided to go with something that I knew would fit. Um, you know, it didn't change the look of the car too much. I didn't want it to be super flashy or very distinctly aftermarket. So this, I still have, you know, this five spoke Mercedes AMG look. Um, it even has the Mercedes uh, center caps, which I like a lot. It, they're chrome and they match kind of the chrome running boards and the chrome accents, the chrome badges and everything. Um, so getting the GL wheels just made the whole fitment process super easy. So I ended up going with uh, 275 40 uh, R21 obviously tires. Um, so technically the sidewall ratio is still the same, um, but because the overall width of the tire, 275 millimeters instead of uh, 295, um, is a little bit smaller, um, it also makes the sidewall height a little bit shorter as well. So I've gone um, up a size in wheels or up an inch and then decrease the sidewall height just a little bit um, so it's a slightly lower profile tire um, which I also like the look of. It just gives the car a little more aggressive look um, without making it too flashy, obnoxious, you know, oversized. Like I considered 22 inch wheels um, but I, I read some forums and people who had 22s said that it kind of killed the ride quality. So because I daily drive this car, I didn't want to sacrifice too much function um, for appearance. Overall, I'm really happy with how the wheels turned out. Um, I went with gloss black to kind of match the um, gloss black of the car. Um, and I do like the dark kind of blacked out look that I've, I've kind of gone with overall for this, this car. I considered, you know, even doing like a 305 tire on, it'd have to be at least like an 11, maybe even 12 inch wide wheel. But that again, made fitment really difficult. Um, you know, you have to change the offset a lot. I was a little concerned about the uh, suspension wear or having to use a spacer if I couldn't find the right offset. And anyway, so I, I kind of took the, the simple, simple route. I bought the GL wheels refurbished on eBay. They had been um, recently powder coated and kind of restored and I got them for a good price considering they're like OEM Mercedes wheels still. Um, and overall, I'm super happy with how it's turned out. So the other new upgrade that you guys haven't seen yet is I removed the resonated section of the exhaust and replaced it with a three inch straight pipe. And well, I guess I didn't do it. I don't have a welder and I did want to actually have the straight pipe welded in and not just like clamped or taped or anything. Um, so I took it to a local shop and they did it for me. Total cost was only like $290, um, which really isn't bad considering all the other exhaust uh, modifications I considered, like doing um, long tube headers or even like shorty headers um, or like a, a full cat back system to increase the sound levels and aggressive tone a little bit. But anyway, all those were super expensive, and so I ended up just doing kind of the simplest, easiest uh, bang for your buck, which is just cut out the resonators, put in some straight pipe. It'll give you a little bit of increase in volume. Um, some people say it's like 10% increase in volume. Others say maybe a little more after like six months after the exhaust breaks in a little bit. 
with all the heat cycles. Um, and then it also kind of gives you a little bit of a more aggressive tone. So you'll, you'll hear a little bit of rasp, a little bit maybe crackles and pops that weren't there before. Um, but my favorite part is that it's still super quiet if you're not stepping on the gas. You know, if the car isn't working hard, let's say it's at like 1500, 2000, even like 3000 RPMs, just normal driving, you're not gonna hear the exhaust. Um, but if you step on it, you'll, you'll hear some crackles and pops, like it's definitely a little more aggressive. Sounds probably more like a stock C63 AMG. Anyway, um, I considered doing like Weiss Tech engineering headers or like Super Sprint long tube headers or Kleeman long tube headers, but all of those are like three and a half thousand dollars plus. Um, and if you include the install, which is apparently very difficult because the engine bay has such a little space to access the, uh, the headers, that it just becomes kind of like a very expensive, difficult job, especially if I were to try to do it myself to decrease costs. I don't think I have the tools, the equipment, the space to do that in my, my garage. Um, anyway, so like I said, I kind of went with the the cheapest, easiest option, and I'm, I'm really happy with how it's turned out. It's definitely a little bit louder when, like, under load when you're flooring it, and then it's definitely got a little bit more of an aggressive tone. So, it, it, again, because I daily drive this car, I didn't want it to be super loud and obnoxious. I really didn't want any drone, um, you know, on the highway or anything, and so this option for me has been kind of perfect. The other upgrade that I did is I decided to paint my brake calipers red. Um, because they were very dirty, very worn out. Um, I don't think anyone had really touched them in the lifespan of the car. And we're talking like 14, 14 years here. And they just looked kind of like crap. And so as I've been trying to kind of spruce this car up and make it look better, I was like, the brake calipers are really uh, taking away from the, the overall appearance here, especially with the new gloss black, black wheels. Um, it just made the calipers even more visible. And so I was like, I gotta do something about those. And I was quoted like anywhere from like four to $700 to get them powder coated um, and like do like a mini rebuild. But I really just, again, didn't wanna spend the money for something that I could do myself. So I ended up just buying some VHT high, high temperature spray paint, red, some gloss clear and a uh, Rust-Oleum high temperature um, primer. And I cleaned up the calipers as best I could. Um, it took a lot of work because like I said, they were just fully like saturated with crap. Um, but eventually I got them to a point where they weren't at least like noticeably greasy or dirty to the point where primer would stick. Um, and then I could paint over the primer and it turned out really well. All right, and the last upgrade that I did and probably the biggest one that you guys have been wanting to hear about is I got my ECU tuned. I did a stage one uh, Weiss Tech Engineering ECU tune, um, which they claim increases horsepower and torque. Um, I'll put the graph up here. It varies a little bit from car or model to model for the M156 engine, but I think they claim like 47 inc increase horsepower and like maybe 26 pound-feet of torque over stock um, measured at the wheels based on their dyno testing, so that's noticeable. Doing an ECU tune was like the cheapest way for me to increase the horsepower of this car a little bit. I mean, other options, like I mentioned, are the long tube headers, which apparently is the, the most restrictive part of the M156 engine, considering it's naturally aspirated. Um, it's There's no easy way to just like add a turbo or like increase boost or anything. Um, so you either have to decrease exhaust restriction through long tube headers or you have to tune the ECU. I mean, in both cases, you have to tune the ECU. Um, but there's not a ton that you can do easily to increase the horsepower of this car without kind of like doing some major engine modifications. Anyway, so I, I went with the Weiss Tech Engineering ECU tune. I did consider 
um, the Euro Charge tune, which has gotten some good reviews on the forums that I've read. Rentech has a tune also. It was more expensive than Weisstech, and the numbers for all of these are about the same. Um, so I just kind of, I did, I did my own research. There was no clear distinction on which one of the three was the best. Um, I just kind of went with Weisstech because I love the idea of getting a Weisstech um, supercharger at some point. Um, but it's like $10,000, so that's going to be way in the future if if it ever happens. Uh, anyway, so I, I just removed the ECU from the car because Weiss Tech is located in Anaheim, California, and I'm on the East Coast, so I had to remove the ECU and ship it off to them. Um, you get to choose how fast the return shipping is for when they send it back to you, and obviously you can choose how much you want to pay to get it sent to them as well. Um, for me, I ended up doing the whole thing in about a week's, and you have to plan in your car being unusable during that time, obviously, because your ECU is gone. And first impressions, you know, I'll put some clips up here of me actually driving the car, but overall, I'm really happy with, with the results. It, I... All right, go for it. All right, zero to 60, ready? <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Zero to sixty pull. Take two. Three, two, one. Go. Jesus. <laughs> I definitely feel like it's a little bit faster. Um, I can definitely notice like it pulls harder for longer. So I think they just kind of like increase the overall power band. You know, there's no there's no drop off at the higher RPMs, and it it might ramp up a little quicker in the lower RPMs or lower you know rev range. And then the throttle response is kind of hard to tell. Maybe it's a little bit you know, more re responsive driving around town, but I, I didn't really notice it flooring it because you just put your foot to the floor and you know, it's hard to gauge throttle response that way. Um, I'm not sure if the uh, new like crackles and pops that I've heard from the exhaust are due to the tune, maybe running like a little bit more rich, um, or if it's from the exhaust, you know, deleting the resonator. But either way, I'm super happy with that that little bit more sporty sound where you, like if you let off the throttle at the end of a hard pull, it'll kind of crackle and pop at the end, which just sounds so awesome. So overall, I do think it was worth the money. It ended up being like a little under $1,000. I think the tune is like uh, 900 and then paying for shipping. Like I said, it's one of the easiest ways to gain a little bit of horsepower without doing anything major to the engine. You just send it off, you get it back, the car's a little faster, not a bad deal. At least for someone like me who daily drives the car and I don't, I'm not like taking it to the track, I'm not taking it to the drag strip. I just like modifying my cars a little bit, um, you know, personalizing them, making them my own, and this is a great way for me to make it a little bit different from just a stock ML63, give it a little personality. So I'm very happy with, with my decision. If you guys have any questions about any of the modifications that I've done, please don't hesitate to ask. Um, for instance, I know some people say you have to swap out the OEM, um, like US spec air boxes and the air filters to uh, rest of world ROW um, air boxes and air filters that are less restrictive and allow more air into the engine. But I have not done that. Um, so far, haven't run into any issues with the Weiss Tech tune, and I don't plan on doing it unless the need arises. I've, I've read a lot of forums about this. Some people claim it makes a little difference. Some people claim it's totally pointless. Anyway, I don't know. But if you have any questions about painting the brake calipers, if you have any questions on wheel fitment, because I did look into it a lot, um, if you have any questions on the Weiss Tech ECU tune and what I think of it and want to learn more, um, anything like that, or the exhaust modification, how to delete the resonator, please let me know. I'm happy to answer any questions you guys have. Um, so if you did enjoy the video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing and leave any questions you have down in the comments. And I'll see you on the next one.